Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday. Happy Monday. Uh, we're going to do our usual Monday market outlook video, talk about stuff we could be seeing this week in FIFA Ultimate Team. Uh, SBCs, objectives, new cards and packs. Uh, of course, we have the Shapeshifters promo that is going on right now. We've got Man of the Match cards that are in packs. We've got Prime Icon moments that are like the best thing to trade with at the moment, in my opinion. They've been great to trade with. Uh, and tons of other things going on with like Champions League stuff and Road to the Final stuff this week that I want to talk about. I think, honestly, as we get into this, that the Road to the Final content this week uh, and the Road to the Final market movements are going to be the things that you guys want to focus in on the most. Hopefully, we have some good content relating to Champions League, like Champions League marquee matchups maybe or whatever. Uh, but I think these cards are honestly going to be the biggest thing that you guys want to pay attention to this week because there's some big games this week. Uh, we have City, we have Real Madrid playing each other. Uh, if we take a look at the schedule, we've got Chelsea and Bayern, Napoli, Barcelona, Lyon, Juventus, and then Real Madrid and Man City. Big time games that are going to make a lot of cards in the road of the final sets move. So be very careful with these. And we're going to talk about some movements that I think you could see with these cards. A lot of these cards are lower right now. Why are these cards lower? Well, in my video yesterday, I talked about how the market is just kind of crashing in general, how people are kind of falling off the game a little bit, just at least this weekend. The promos are just okay. Shapeshifters is a cool idea, but it's just, it's not good enough with the supplementary content. Um, and I think that's why you're seeing some of the stuff drop in price a little bit. Just people are becoming less interested in the game. And there's more new cards that they can use instead of these that are currently out in the game. So that's why you're seeing some of these cards drop. But these cards are going to be springing back into action uh, this week, just like the like just like the Sancho from last week. Look at Jaden Sancho from last week. He's 250,000 coins right now, which is actually down a little bit from where he was. But take a look at what his card has done since the week last week. On Monday, he was 173. Game time on Tuesday, Wednesday, he was 190. He got the upgrade and has continued climbing since because he got an upgrade, right? And he got a pretty significant boost. So this week, we have a lot of cards in the line for upgrades. We've got Militao, we've got Mares, we've got Allen, Dybala, we've got Conte, um, and plenty of the Europa League cards as well, because obviously the Europa League is being played this week too. Um, so we have like aggregate games with Rangers up 3-2 on Braga. We've got Sporting that's up 3-1. Roma, of course, a lot of you guys want to know about Juan Jesus. They're up 1-0 to on Ghent. So a lot of these games also have massive implications for what is upcoming this week in terms of Road to the Final and Europa League Road to the Final upgrades. So uh, I really want you guys to watch these cards this week, and we're going to talk more about these prices and fluctuations that we saw with some of the cards that moved last week, like Hugo Ruiz. Hugo Lloris, uh, this card moved a ton last week. In the panic selling after the game to where he is now, he was 100 and like 1520k after Spurs lost. Now he's back up to 160. I want to talk about that later this week as we get closer in because there's going to be some market movements with these cards since they're so rare and so desirable since they're still live items that we're going to want to look at based on which cards uh, in the Champions League games. Champions League game only for these um, just because of how they're structuring with the first leg. Like right now, we've only, we're only in the first leg games for Champions League. Europa League is one section behind or one stage behind. So we'll talk about that later in the week, but these cards move a ton and they're going to be very profitable this week if you get in on the right ones at the right time. Let's talk about the current promo that is going on though with the shape shifters. Um, I'm kind of watching these cards right now. I'm recording this right after squad battle rewards. And we are seeing some dropping prices on the market for uh, for some of these cards. David Luiz is currently 1.05, 1.06 mil on the market. And he has dropped like a, over 100K today. Some of these guys have dropped a decent amount with squad battle rewards. That's just supply coming onto the market. This happens every single week, right? This has happened almost every week with these promo cards as they drop like this because there's just not a lot of other times of supply especially on the weekends for these. Uh, so like right now, Atal is 440. Wow, he's still dropping 440K for this Atal card. He was like 460, 470, 480 for most of the day. And it just keeps dropping because a lot of packs are open with squad battle rewards. Now, are these cards going to rise back up this week? Is this their low point? No, they should be 
getting lower as the week goes on. They should get hit with weak and league rewards supply because we still have a second set of these cards to come out. Now, of course, this first set is a really, really good set. I think, um, you know, based on what it could be, we've got a lot of decent player names in here. We've got a lot of cool position changes and cool upgrades. Mares, 330K, like center attack in mid. Mares is dope. Uh, that's going to be a card that a lot of people try out and use. He fits the meta. Short, five-star skills, a good weak foot, good agility, good balance. So that's going to be a card that a lot of people are going to try out. The Marcelo, of course. Um, the the Lucas is not bad. The, the Renato Sanchez, the Mbabu. Like there's some... This is a, has a decent squad of cards in it, but there's also a, a second set coming. So that's just something to keep in mind and to be aware of. And then, of course, I want to talk about Man of the Matches as well. We'll talk about these maybe later on during the week. Some of these cards, there's only really one of these Man of the Matches that I would be really considering buying as a quote-unquote investment out of packs. Um, and that would be probably Holland. I think he's like 260k at the moment. Uh, and the reason why I'm interested in him is because he's just really freaking low, right? He's got a lot of special cards, but he's down to 250,000 coins. I would wait to see what happens. He's still in packs for another couple days. So all it takes is one pack supply SBC that's tradable at 6 p.m. UK. And that kind of card drops down more uh, in price because of the pack supply. So we'll be looking at that later on this week as a possible investment. What else could we see this week? Well, I would expect to see at least another one objective player, and I would expect to see more SBCs as well. Believe it or not, I know it doesn't seem like we've gotten good SBCs, which we really haven't. Today's Kimmich SBC, I think, is a W in my opinion. I would like to see him get a dynamic image. I'm assuming he will, but this card is 200,000 coins. What they did is they position changed him to CDM, and they gave him different work rates. He is a high, high work rate in this game. That makes him perfect for a box-to-box -box center midfielder or a CDM, which his card stats suit him perfectly for, or even for a right back. You could probably play him in-game at right back if you wanted to. Really solid looking card uh, and a pretty nice stat boost. If you're running a Bundesliga squad, 200K for this CDM, for this center mid, I think this is gonna carry you for the rest of the game, honestly. If you do this SBC, I don't blame you at all, um, especially with fodder being so cheap as it is already. This SBC is only like 200K or a little under, and you get tradable packs back. So if you're a Bundesliga guy, I don't mind you doing that squad at all. Mkhitaryan still isn't bad to me. So hopefully we continue to get good value SBCs this week. I would expect the possibility for upgrade packs to be coming uh, on today, actually Monday. I feel like upgrade packs could be coming if they're going to come out. EA has been kind of doing them on Monday, I think for every promo that we've gotten so far. So I would expect today to see some form or variation of upgrade packs. If you wanna to try to pack yourself one of these um, new cards in this in this set, which I do think, I hope they put up the 81 plus upgrade because I would be interested in hitting a few of those. Because if you think about it, a Marcelo would fit into my team very nicely. A Davo de Wies, I already have the flashback, but I would take the 91 Davo de Wies. Um, any of these guys, honestly, would love to try to pack one. Uh, a couple of them, a Ben Yedder, you know, would, would be nice. A Natal super sub, of course, the Messi, the Lucas. I really want that Lucas card. So um, shapeshifters this week. Uh, again, if you're wanting to buy these for your team, probably Thursday is our buy time for them. We're going to have to watch and see what happens on Thursday and Friday with these cards because a lot of times for the other promos, if the second team isn't very good, the first team rises out of packs and it goes up Friday night after that second team comes. So that's going to be something to monitor something to watch out for as well. Something we also have coming in this next week is the possibility for a pretty big time team of the week. And I'm going to show you guys right now. This is a team of the week prediction and a prediction only on Twitter by Broker Foot is his name. Messi could get in team of the week and he's not shown here, but Messi, I think should get in team of the week for his four goal performance that he had this weekend. I know he's already in the shapeshifters promo, but They've done this before where they give that card a team of the week item. The shapeshifters card is in packs until it goes out of packs on Friday. Then the inform comes in packs after that. I hope that they do that with Messi. Um, but other than that, this team of the week doesn't look bad. Aubameyang, Marquinhos is okay. Nabry is cool. Bruno Fernandez, nice. Tellez could get another inform. Alonso Ter Stegen. So there's some names in here that could be a solid team of the week, especially with the possibility of Messi uh, coming out this week. And I guess other things that could come out this week, start to maybe think, you know, they're putting out some, I hate to say solid SBCs, but the player selection for these has been good so far besides Olaza. 
if we get one or two more of these shapeshifters SBCs, I do have a hunch. I don't know who it's going to be, but it seems like a Fabinho would be perfect for this. A Fabinho center back card. And this is just, somebody mentioned it in my Twitch chat tonight, and I really got to thinking about it. And I agree with it, right? Fabinho center back card. He has an inform. He has a team of the year nominee. Fabinho doesn't have that many other special cards in this game. Those are the only two, basically. Uh, and the UCL. Give this guy a center back position change. He had a center back inform last year in foot 19. That would be an SBC if they price it correctly that a lot of people would be interested in. If you give him a stat boost right now, he's going to go over 70 pace. He's going to have over 80 passing. He's going to have over 80 dribbling. High 80s defense. High, mid to high 80s physical, medium high work rates already. They don't need to change that. Uh, just basically boost his base pace and then boost his passing and, and dribbling a little bit and then maybe give him like a little bit of a boost on defense as well. This could be a center back card that a lot of people would go out and do if they make it a good price. Um, and that could be a, a big time, you know, position swap or change SBC that we could get. Also, a lot of people keep mentioning a Kyle Walker goalkeeper card. I would love it. I would absolutely love it if they gave this guy a goalkeeper position change. Do I think it's going to happen? Probably not. But how freaking sick would that be if we had a Kyle Walker position change to goalkeeper card? That would be pretty dope. So if that happens, it happens. Um, I've heard a lot of people mention that. I would be a huge fan if they did that. <laughs> it would be so cool. Uh, but I don't know how like a field player would position to like a goalkeeper in game. Don't know if we've ever had that. Or in FIFA, that could be really interesting to watch. But it'd be really cool, right? So that's something that we could maybe, maybe see this week. Other things Champions League related. What have, what did we see last week with Champions League stuff? I don't know if the SBCs are still there. I doubt they are. But the uh, we had Champions League. Um, we had like a Champions League pack supply SBC. Now they're gone. We had a Champions League pack supply SBC and a UCL marquee matchup. So again, what they did last week is they took one game from Tuesday and one game from Wednesday, and I would expect them to do that again. So if I had to guess, I would probably pick Chelsea and Bayern for the Tuesday SBC, and then Real Madrid Man City for the Wednesday SBC. So you could probably go out on the market right now and check for some Bayern. Um, let's go League Bundesliga. Let's check out Bayern. Actually, Bayern's not going to be a good one because those are always inflated already. Let's say Chelsea, right? Let's go Chelsea. Let's look at special cards for Chelsea. Um, how much do they go for right now? The UCL rare cards, the UCL non-rares and rares for Chelsea. Looks like they're going for basically this card. Basically this card for some of these, which is not bad. If you can get them like Kurzuma right there. You know what? I'm going to buy that. I'm going to throw it in my club. They might require some of these Champions League rares. They could go up a little bit. Uh, specifically if they require Champions League rare players from the Chelsea team or from the Bayern Munich team or even any players from those teams in general. Even some of the golds might not be a bad shot to look at. And then I think that Manchester City uh, would be almost a shoe-in. The Manchester City-Real Madrid game this week is a massive, massive game. Massive game. And uh, as you can see, Man City players are already inflated. How much is the question? Maybe right around 1,000 coins, actually. 1.4K? Looks to be about 1.4K, and they're all Claudio Bravos <laughs> at 1.4K. For Manchester City blue card. So that could be something you look into this week. Maybe try to snag a few of these on bid. Of course, if we get a pack supply SBC, that's going to be a great time to be looking out for something like that to invest in. This week's team of the week, if you want to buy any of these cards, a lot of times uh, team of the week investing is something that we look into like on a Sunday night. But you know, of course, like I mentioned, a pack supply SBC, these guys could get a little bit lower with that. There's not a, too many of these players in this team of the week that I really like for an out of packs investment, Neuer, uh, Dybala, and maybe Party and maybe Pepe would be like the, and, and Halstenberg would be kind of the only ones that I really, or Klosterman, not Halstenberg. Those would be kind of the only guys that I really rate as an out of packs investment as my favorite, probably being, probably being Dybala or Pepe, maybe as like an out of packs investment. So just something to keep an eye on on those if you see some pack supply. SBCs, uh, that, those could be very, very good. And then, of course, if you guys are trading this week, if you guys are trying to trade and trying to make some coins this week on foot, what's some stuff that you can be doing? One of my favorite things to do right now in this game, and I've been doing it, and it's been working very, very well for me, is trading with icons and specifically icon moments. 
specifically icon moments has been working wonders for me. Um, this, these are kind of the filters that I set up, um, right here, trying to weed out a lot of the cards that are under 700, 800,000 coins and getting a good filter to get to the 59th minute quickly. You just kind of have to mess around with that minimum buy now price, set the max buy now, however many coins you have. And the max price goes to 15 million. And that's your refresh. Basically, every time you back out and search again, you refresh that. So you get a new, a new set on the 59th minute. So as you can see, I'm getting to the 59th minute in less than 10 pages, maybe. That's pretty quick. Uh, this is my favorite type of trading, boys. I'm going to be honest. This is my absolute favorite type of way to trade on foot. I love getting back here to the 59th minute because you never know what you're going to find. That's a pretty good deal for Maradona. Not really viable and flippable, but it's good because this guy is usually about like 1.8. It's usually around 1.8 mil, but uh, yeah, you can see there's a couple undercuts. A lot of these icons have been dropping a bunch lately. So that's something to keep an eye on this week is these icon moments. People are still trying them out, but these cards prices are dropping very heavily, especially as we get more and new promo cards that come out. When we get a Marcelo card like that, that's going to drop some of the midfielder cards on the icon market because people are going to sell their icons to maybe go try that Marcelo out because that Marcelo is a pretty cracked card, right? And that's kind of a high tier player that somebody who can afford an icon like one of these is going to be able to afford a guy like Marcelo. So these prices back here at the 59th are so, so very fun to mess around with. Open bids are working for these cards as well. Uh, and as you can see, I have a Crespo here that I flipped. I kind of got lucky with this. Um, I bought this Crespo for 2.195, sold it for 2349, which is about 36,000 coins profit. Um, on that card right there. So as you can tell, I'm pretty liquid, right? And if you're trading right now, if you're looking to make coins right now in this game, I would stay pretty liquid. I would stay liquid. I would I would do fluctuations. There's plenty of ways to trade in this game right now, which is fluctuation trading with getting on the market, looking at past team of the weeks, getting on open bids and just looking at the cards fluctuate. They fluctuate every day because they're rare and they're out of packs. Uh, and if it's a card that a lot of people are using and trying out and putting in their teams, you're going to see that card fluctuate and it's going to be flippable um, just because of people are going to be buying that card at different points throughout the day and, and the card prices change throughout the day. So if you're looking to do some trading with that kind of stuff, hit up the team of the week page on Footbin over here, which is basically you go to players drop down, click on team of the weeks. It'll take you here. Look through the headliners, right? Start to memorize some of these prices. Like um, I haven't looked at these cards in a hot minute. This is probably a bad example. Headliners of bombing is up a lot. I look at these future stars cards more than anything else. Um, but Mason Mount's a little bit low right now. That's a bit low for him. Emerson was lower earlier. Emerson was 170K earlier. Now he's back to 188. That just shows you that some of these cards that are very desirable, that people want for their teams, fluctuate a lot. Hudson Adoy was 283 earlier. Now he's back to two or to over to 300,000 coins. Um, Malin's 116. That's a situation. This Malin card fluctuates between two, like 115,000 coins and 125,000 coins a lot. So I'm going to check this right now. If I can get one for like 115 K, which I cannot, there is not any there. Footbin is telling me a lie. Come on, Footbin. Uh, if you can get this card at like 115, you can sell it for 125 to 127 during the day. I know that's not a lot of profit. But it's the little things like that, that when you do them repetitively and you do it over and over, then you do make coins. So that's the kind of stuff you guys should be looking for this week. Investing in stuff. I know that the high rates are cheap. I know that the high rates are cheap. Just be careful with these cards because if you're unassigned with these, again, you're relying on EA to drop content. And I don't like relying on EA for anything. Price ranges, dropping SBCs, anything. Just do a club stock, put them in your club. Yes, these might be, these are lower right now than when I bought them for my club stock, but that's not, that's not making me mad. I'm fine. I know that I had that investment there. They're going to go up at some point. 86s are going to be 18 to 20 K again at some point. 85s are going to be 12 K again at some point. 87s are going to be 25 K again at some point in the future in this game. So I'm not worried about it. Whenever EA decides to drop SBCs, that middle icon SBC, if it ever comes, I don't know if it's coming. It doesn't look like it honestly is. We'll find out sooner enough if it is or not. But that's the kind of stuff that you guys can be doing this week. If you haven't done a club stock already, some of those cards are very cheap. Trading with the icons is great. Trading with these other cards is great. Uh, I should mention one more thing. Renato Sanchez, you saw one on my transfer list. 
He is my perfect example right now of trading with new promo cards um, that have chem styles, right? So we're going to go Renato Sanchez left back. And we're going to search him with a shadow, all right? This is the filter right here. Shadow card on Renato Sanchez for a left back. As you can see, ooh, this is kind of low right now. 65K for Renato Sanchez for the left back. Usually, I bought one for 57 today. Usually, he sells for just over 70K. So if I see this get any lower, I know that Renato Sanchez as a left back with the shadow chem style usually sells at 70K. So if I see one again, lower seven, like lower 60,000 coins, I'm going to be picking that up. That's a great way to be trading with these new promo cards is because people are trying them out, right? And when people try out the new promo cards, the shapeshifters, they want to use a good chem style on them. So they go apply the hunters, they go apply the shadows, or they try to buy them with that chem style already attached. So look for that point as a trading opportunity this week as well. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.